welcome back to my channel. I should say happy 2022, happy new year guys. I hope that you guys had an amazing beginning start of the year and I just hope that everything went smooth for everyone and everyone is staying healthy and safe and everything. So I decided to do a full matte smoky kind of cat eye look. I call it like a foxy look using the new ColourPop Feeling Bubbly palettes. So normally I like to play around with a lot of metallics and sparkles on my channel, but this time I wanted to do an all matte look. So if you guys want to see how I got this eyeshadow look, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's get right into this tutorial. As you can see, I have my eyebrows done and I also have some under eye setting powder there just to help catch any fallout. So I do have a an updated brow tutorial up on my channel, so I will link that in the description box. But first, let's start by priming our eyelids. I'm going to be using this NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in the shade Medium Dark. And I'm just gonna place that on my lids and blend it out with my fingertips. For this look, I'm going to be using this ColourPop Feelin' Bubbly Eyeshadow Palette. So this is a pretty new palette and I've used it once on my channel, so I wanted to use it again because it is just so beautiful. So I'm going to go in with a fluffy blending brush here. This is a Hank and Henry fluffy brush called Adele. So I'm going to go into the shade in the palette called Blank Slate, and that is just a really nice rosy matte shade. So I'm going to blend that all into my crease. I'm gonna go back into the palette there into this beautiful chocolatey matte brown shade called clink clink and I'm gonna go in with another Hank and Henry brush this is a thinner fluffy blending brush in the style called Meg so I'm just gonna place that shade also into the crease I'm just deepening it up a bit and since I am doing a bit of a cut crease I'm taking it on the inner corner so that cut crease will be a little bit more defined but we do want to place more attention to darkening the outer corners of the eyes because that is where that foxy look will come from. I'm just taking some of that medium tone matte brown shade and just placing it now more towards the outer corner just to start deepening that up a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with this thinner blending brush here. This is a Morphe M507 brush. I'm gonna go into the darkest shade in the palette. This is like a rich fudgy matte brown shade called Get a Grape, and I'm gonna place that just towards the outer corner of the eye and really smoke that out and get that nice brown intensity on the outer corner. Now we're gonna get some follow and the line doesn't have to be perfect right now because I'm gonna go back in with a concealer but right now I'm just focusing on deepening out that outer corner and I'm bringing it out in like a wig liner motion just to really extend that eye there and that is what makes this look into that foxy like smoky brown look which is so pretty. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of a cut crease so I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is just their pure white concealer and I'm gonna use the ColourPop E3 brush to carve it out and I'm gonna place that cut crease towards the inner corner and bring it about halfway into the eye. I'm not bringing it too high up but I do wanna add a little bit of definition there. This step is optional but I just think that it's nice when the lid is a little bit more defined in my opinion for this look. brush and just kind of diffuse that white concealer a little bit just so there's no harsh lines. So I'm going to go into the Zoeva 234 Luxe Smoky Shader Brush and I'm going to blend the two shades here in the palette called So Complex and Blank Slate. So I'm going to blend those together and place it on my eyelid to create a nice rosy matte shade. I'm just placing that shade and patting it onto the area where we have that concealer there. 
And as you guys can see, it's like a really nice muted rosy shade because I mixed those two together. So the white just kind of made that rosy shade a little bit lighter. And I'm placing it on the inner corner as well because I'm just going to keep it nice and matte. And I'm going to wipe away that under eye setting powder here just with a fluffy brush. So as you guys can see, that really helped protect my makeup and under eye concealer from any fallout. And I want to really define that outer corner there, so I'm going to use some concealer to clean it up furthermore. I'm going to go in with this Bare Minerals Liquid Mineral Concealer in the shade Light Medium, and I'm going to take that same ColourPop E3 Black Concealer Brush here and just use that to clean up the outer corner and really define that edge. going to blend in that concealer with this flat blending brush here and just making sure that everything looks nice and smoothed out and as you guys can see that totally just changed the look and cleaned it up a lot and now that line is like much more defined so I'm gonna line at the upper lash line with this NYX epic ink liner in the shade brown and I really love the NYX Epic Ink Liners and this brown one is really nice because it's a little bit more subdued than like a pure black one so I'm going to take that liner and line my whole upper lash line there and also take it on the inner corner to really extend that eye and it, that just makes it look super foxy and just really beautiful so that's what I'm going to do right now. So now I'm going to go in with this really small ColourPop E29 brush back into the darkest shade in the palette there called Get a Grape. And I'm going to kind of use that shade to buff out the liner a little bit and deepen it up even more just so there's no like harsh liner line. I just kind of want everything to look a little bit more blended. So this little brush is really good for getting like right into that lash line there and not taking it too far up into the rest of the eyeshadow look. And I'm just using that to blend pretty much on top of the liner. I'm leaving the inner corner part a little bit more defined. I'm just kind of smoking out the outer corner more. Okay, so now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe M507 brush, back into that rosy matte shade there called Blank Slate, and I'm gonna smoke that all over the lower lash line. So now I'm going to take that same small ColourPop E29 brush that we used and I'm going to go back into the darkest shade in the palette, get a grape, and I'm going to smoke that on just the outer corner of the lower lash line. So I'm just focusing that darker shade on the outer corner and kind of connecting that cat eye. So now I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Smoky Gel Pencil in the shade 40 Smoky Brown and it is just a really nice matte smoky brown shade and I'm going to use it to line the waterline. So now I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to use the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara in the shade Black and I'm going to place that on the top and bottom of my lashes. So I'm going to pop on this pair of wispy lashes that I have. They go a little bit longer towards the outer corner, so that's also really going to help make those eyes look even more foxy. And I use the House of Lashes Transparent Lash Glue for that, so I'm just going to pop those on top of my lashes. Okay guys, so there is my completed all matte foxy eyeshadow tutorial using that ColourPop Feelin' Bubbly palette. So I hope that you guys like this tutorial. I really do love the way the all matte look does look because I do love to use metallics and glitters and sparkles on my channel. So it's nice to kind of change things up a bit and just do like a full matte look with all these like neutral earthy tones. So let me know if you guys like this tutorial. Please let me know what else you guys would like to see on my channel because this is a new year and I would love to film some different types of videos or just more videos that you guys would like to see. 
so please let me know in the comment section. I hope that the beginning of 2022 has been amazing for you guys so far and let's just cross our fingers and hope that the rest of the year is goes smoothly and is a great year for everybody. So stay safe guys. I love you so much and thank you for all of your amazing sweet comments and just all the support you guys show me on my channel. It means so much to me. So thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!